Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on a Monday, 24th of September. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Donna. Good to see you, team. Good to see you, Cyber Traders. All right. Ken, George, Mark, everyone. All right, good. Well, everybody, this is our last week of the pay period. Um, like I said, the 30th is on Sunday, so we got one more last week to end up the month. Let me tell you, I told you this when we, when we originally uh, – Back in June, I said September, October, November are the best months of the year, and you could see it clear as day. If you guys are starting to look at your monthly journals that we train you what to do, you'll see that you, um, uh, we, we killed it. I mean, it, there were so many winners that we had that did great, especially the uh, the TLRY. Now, before um, – but first, I want to go over – uh, some of the big news that's happening as we as we've seen of all the money we made this month on what happened to a lot of these stocks that we traded. Now I did a um, if you go on our YouTube channel I did do something on um, short squeezes. I just want to talk about that really quick before we go through the watch list. Uh, but first let's uh, but first let's go really quick to what we traded last week and talk about what did really well on Friday. The ASTC. Let's just bring that up. Um, this is something that some of you were here. You saw this is what day trading at its best. Stock went from 350 within the first two hours, which most of us are pretty much done by then. Ran all the way to six, and then right at there, uh, at the end of the day, you could see it literally ran from five to after hours, went as high as uh, 650, and then bam, right back down. So this is why we don't hold positions overnight. But this is why we day trade. That one did really well. Another one that did really well early in the morning, and it was funny. It was a lot of cheapies too. Here you see great pre-market trading right here. Stock literally ran from 230 all the way to $4. A lot of you done within 30 minutes, um, including myself. And then the last one, I just want to bring up uh, – why is it not coming up? EGC. There we go. Uh, this one right here, another one uh, right out of the gate. It went from 650 all the way to – about 820. Stock took a big hit with nine dollars drawn down to six. So you know, I made a little bit of comeback after getting beat up a couple of, for the past week. But so far, that was what we did on Friday, and uh, it was overall it was a pretty decent day. A lot of good stocks that made some good moves. But remember, that is the past. That gets me put on the archives. Let's talk about what's moving this morning. But first, I want to go over some of the big stocks that we traded this week, and I just want to kind of. Uh, address some of the issues that you guys have to be very, very careful of and why we day trade and why uh, you need to know one of the biggest things I want to talk about is short squeeze. So first of all, let's start talking off um, with – let's start off with the famous stock that a lot of us did, unbelievable, a TLRY. Could you imagine still owning the stock today, TLRY? Here's a stock that we've been sh – uh, we bought it. Everybody should have got a piece of it, and I told you, it's just a matter of time that – uh, it's just going to get crushed, and here you have a stock now boom down to $100. The stock was at 300 Listen, we were trading it since 22 when it went public, you know, um, and everybody got a piece of it. Even if you bought it at 50 and you sold it at 60 and you made 10 points, who cares it went to 300 Listen, we do it all the time. You know, there these stocks here all the time that we trade it, but this is what's called short squeeze at its best, and and now, and now and this is what caused these things go all the way up. You know, funny thing is, I had my nephew ask me about this stock. He's Fausto, Uncle Fausto. Did you trade TLRY? I'm like, meanwhile, he's telling me when it's like 250. I'm like, can't yeah, we trade it? But we're not even looking at it. And he goes, yeah, but now it's up to this high. It's like, who cares? We're not trading it. The stock is. You, you got to understand how these things work. Because you imagine the guys own it right now at 250, uh, 300, and you guys know that some of us did trade the stock at those prices. Now. That is just one of several. CGC, another one. This is why we got to be careful. Here's another one. Dollar to four dollars. Stock went up a full five hundred percent. Look where it is right back now. Two thirty. Another big short squeeze. NBEV. Another one. Look at this beauty. Here's another one. Two dollars all the way to ten. Up what? Five hundred percent. Where did it go? Boom. Right now. Look, it's getting crushed. Now it's down back down to four sixty. Short squeeze at its best. And uh, one, is that all of them? Yeah. I did uh, AWSM. Is that one too? No, I didn't do that one too. All right, AWSM, another one. This was, a, I forgot to mention, huge winner on Friday. Forgot to mention this one. $10 to 22 Some of you are probably saying, oh, I missed the TLRY. Listen, Friday, we did great on this one. This is a huge winner right here. Look where it is right now. 
boom, right back down to 13. Another big short squeeze. Stock went from 4 all the way to 22. What is that? Uh, 1,000% almost? No, no, I'm sorry. 500%? This is what day trading at its best. But short squeeze, we know how to see them. We know when they're coming, and that's why you got to be very prepared. And this is why you can't sit there and uh, think you're going to, you know, oh, I missed this one. Maybe this will go back to 100. Maybe this will go to 100. Maybe this will go. You know, listen, that's what it is. So short squeeze, be very, very careful. A uh, lot of money be made. We love when you get squeezed. We see them on the level three. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time. It will back off. So anyway, that's that's our tip of the day and uh, something that we should take over, l learn what we so far we learned what we trade in September. Now, remember, we got one more week. A lot of things going on this week. First and foremost, uh, phase three, live trading with Fausto right after this class in the training room. So all gold platinum diamond students i'm going to see you in about in the next 15 minutes we're going to get back in there we're going to take everything we've learned what you learned phase one and two we're going to do it in phase three also too another last minute announcement uh on wednesday we're doing a workshop for all you cyber group members uh, regarding about how to build your trade station platform we're doing a big tutorial on it uh email josh to make sure you get your reg uh, registration and make sure you're ready for that one i know that's been a big big request a lot of people ask and we're going to focus on that now and then, let, oh, and know that Josh just put his email in there. And also remember, I will be at Trade Station on Thursday for the mastery course. So if anyone, I'm going to be down in Fort Lauderdale. I don't know if any of you guys are going to be down there, but if you are, I look forward to seeing you guys there. I'll be in and out there for the day. So uh, feel free to, if you're taking that course with Trade Station, look forward to seeing you down there too. All right, now let's go through the watch list because, listen, it is a Monday. And you know what's kind of weird? I put in the chat room. I had the pre-market picks earlier. But if you know, is that coincidental? A lot of A's. Everything starts with an A. Let's start with the biggest one, AMR. RN. Here's the one that's moving this morning. Um, I don't know what the story with this is. I think it's a buyout because it's up about 283%, uh, 17 million shares. I could Just by looking at the trend of the stock, uh, trading in a trading range, uh, range from 7 a.m. till now, you know, it's about between 11 and 12. So this is probably a buyout. So we're going to scratch this one out immediately. Another one, ACST. Uh, here's one that's got some good volatility, cheap little stock right here. Uh, you know, listen, I don't like to trade stocks under a dollar because of the tenths of a penny rule, but here's a stock up 78%. We'll put it on our watch list. Remember, money's money. AZRX is another one that's going to make the watch list. I don't know what happened. It gapped up pretty big, and it just came right back down. Uh, it's hovering right around 340, up 28%. Quarter, uh, quarter million shares traded. Great iceberg orders. I just saw a 2,500 share seller out here. Um, it was Obviously, it was probably that resistance. That one we're going to keep an eye on, too. We're going to put that on our watch list. ASNA. I'm telling you, it's all A's. It's the weirdest thing. There's another one that's opening up in pre-market. Not up a lot. 50,000 shares traded, which is good. Stock right now is a 5%. ASNA. Stock uh, it has got some nice little little pushes up here, breaking higher highs. So that one also looks pretty interesting. And uh, what else did I have? I have two more. ASTC. Another one. <laughs> another Stock just came right down. Um, I don't know if the stock is on your short list, but the stock had a big, big rally. The stock that you guys made money on. I don't know. We'll see if it hits the support levels and comes back up where it started at. It's pretty weird how these things go up and down the way they do. But we'll keep an eye on that one. And there's two more. XON. A lot of you guys remember this stock. We traded stock in the past. She's pretty volatile. You got to be a little careful with her. But um, here's stock. Where it opened up at 14, went to 18. It's hovering around 1650. Not a lot of iceberg orders out there right now on the level three. So I'm going to be a little skeptical on it. But she does got some great volatility. The one that I like the most is this one right here. This one I think is probably the easiest one that I'm seeing so far is the TEUM. It's not up a lot. Some of you remember we traded it so many times. Go back to your journals. Look at the level three on the right. A lot of orders out there. So we see we got we can see the support and resistance levels. It's been breaking higher highs, just backed off. Um, but stock's got some good volatility, a little cheap little stock. I think everybody here can afford to trade that. Wait for the big uh, the big TRLA rebound. Amazing under 100, Benito. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it, Benito. Um, ben, I mean, once again, you got to be you, remember you got to be careful of those short squeezes. You know what I mean? Because they, they double and they triple down and they just keep buying and selling it up. And like I said, we'll cover that in class, explaining in more detail what it is. But that is to me, when you see things go up that way, that's a full 
all program trading, all short squeeze that's kicking in. All right, so everything is clear. I think we got everything. All right, listen, we got 15 minutes. Um, market's going to open up. I'll see the, the all the gold and platinum students and diamond. I'm going to see you right now um, in the training class. If you want to know how to be a student, make sure you talk to Education Advisor. Busy, busy week, guys, this week here at Cyber Training University. Let's finish out the month. A lot of us did – we did really, really well uh, going into September, like I told you, Will. And we got October, November. These are the best months of the year, especially going into election year. So we're going to have some a lot of fun that's going to be going on. So listen, if you made money, remember, the, the most important place is not about the making of money. It's learning how to make that money. And the only way you're going to do that is being in class because we only do these live classes very – it's not every day that they're going on. So enjoy it. And sit that back and learn. And like I said, if you can't be there, it is being recorded. So you can always go back and review it. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, I'll see you all in class, all right? If I don't see you in class, see something in, in the cyber group, say something. Good luck, everybody.